Hi, my name is Alan from Hawk Dive and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you 16 hidden iPhone tricks that will probably make your life a little faster, a little better with your iPhone. So I'm going to go over to my phone and you can see it right on your screen right now. And I currently have the iPhone 11 and I'm going to be showing you again, the 16 hidden iPhone tricks or anyway, first thing is about taking first photos in the camera app. But right now, if I go over to my camera app, you're just going to see a black screen, but that is fine. You're probably going to hold it, but it's going to make a video or you're probably going to tap fast just to take multiple photos. As you can see, it was shuddering. Um, but what if I tell you that you can capture burst photos by holding the shutter button in the camera app? Does that make sense here? Let me show you. So again, I want you to pop in settings. Head over, why was that a notification? I want you to head over to the camera app right here. And I want you to use volume, um, um, volume, um, volume up for burst, toggle that on. And now when I come back to the camera app, and I just, I'm just, I'm just hold this button on top right here. It's gonna burst. As you can see, it's currently bursting. I don't know how many photos it took. Let us take a quick peek if it was going to do more. As you can see, it created three photos for that one with just a little hold of the um, up key or up volume key for the shutter. Again, that's on settings and that's right here on the use volume up for first. So that's the first one. The next one is called the quick scroll to top. So let me hop into our website on my phone and show you that exactly in action. All right, so now we are here at hawkdive.com, which is our website. And what if I told you that, you know, maybe I found this thing that is, um, you know, I found a full cool, cool stuff right here, but you know, I want to go back to the top of the screen as fast as I can without doing this. So without manually scrolling back up, what can I do? I can literally just press on top of the screen. Boom, it auto scrolls up for me. That works in many websites in many different apps. And it's just a good trick to know because you don't want to be scrolling all the way up. Now, while we are here at our website, why not check out, you know, other, other stuff within the website and show you this feature that I'm talking about. I'm literally pressing the battery icon right now. You can just press right below the notch, or you can even press right on the, um, what do I call this? The time on the top left, just make sure it's on the top. And, um, yeah, that's one thing also works in the photos app. And um, yeah, how about we go to the third one? The third one is about custom vibrations. So you can actually go to custom or make your own custom vibrations on the haptics of your phone if you have it enabled. Um, personally, I have it disabled, but this is how you do it. So you go to settings, you go to sounds and haptics, so you go into ringtone, and then you want to go to vibration. And right here, you can create your own vibration on the custom right here down there. Create new custom vibration. You just want to hold it. Now the thing is, you're you're gonna be able to feel it, like do 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 do. But I don't because I have a vibration disabled. But that is how you create your own vibration. Just to know specifically who is calling you. What is that notification about? If you have vibration on. Sadly, I don't use this feature, but this is a useful feature for a lot of my friends because they know exactly what is happening on their phone when it vibrates because they know the pattern of the vibration. The next one is about magnifying text. You know, sometimes you cannot read something, especially if you're a little old or if your eyesight were not as good as they once were. This is how you magnify text. So you go to settings, you go to accessibility, and you want to go into magnifier. So let me just look at, uh, find it here. Mm -hmm. I think, um, Magnifier, magnifier. Let me actually just search it. Right. Fire. There you go. Accessibility shortcut and the magnifier. So I want to turn that on. And what you can do now, since it is an accessibility shortcut, what you can do is go and drop down. You have your accessibility button in your control center. For me, it is on the second last, uh, this one right here that I just highlighted. Sorry. There you go. Let me go and click on magnifier. And right here, 
it is actually, you know, it's for magnifying in photos, but you cannot zoom all the way in when you're looking at things. As you can see, look at that mouse, look at the dirt inside. Oh, look at that dirt. That is how you magnify. I gotta change my mouse today. Yep. You cannot zoom as close as like that in the camera app. I go to the camera app. It doesn't zoom all the way in as that. I know the mouse looked disgusting, but that's actually just dust. Um, but that is magnify. Like that is how you magnify. Um, that is magnify. What can we do? Now, the next thing is quickly accessing the camera app. That's the fifth one. If we are, let's say our phone is locked, turned on, you can swipe from here to the left of your screen. Boom, access a photo. Or you can just click the or hold the, uh, the camera button. Some people tap it, but you have to hold it like for one point less than one second, but like 0.5, but it cannot be a tap. It's just going to do that animation. So the faster you want it to be, just swipe. Simply swipe. Swipe it. Swipe. <laughs> but yeah, that's cool. Anyway, the next one would be scanning documents. Here, I gotta have a sample right here. Give me a moment. All right, so I got something here. Let's say this is a document. It's called wireless microphone. Um, interview wireless microphone, and it has a product whatever in the screen. So I'm just gonna put it down here in my desk, and I'm actually gonna go over to the notes app. So after you open the notes app, what I want you to do is press on the bottom right, create a new note. And what you can do here is press the camera button. After pressing the camera button, I don't want you to choose the photos or videos or take photo or video. I want you to press scan document because that's the feature is about right here. It auto shutters it for you. Let me press save. Boom. Instant scan document. Of course, that's not properly fine because I just took a quick snap of it for this tutorial. But as you can see, it can kind of read what it was about. As you can see, it says modulation mode on the top left because that's the first word it properly processed, which is modulation mode, which is cool. I actually use this feature on a daily basis uh, because I have a lot of documents to scan and I, I don't use a physical scanner. I can just do that and send it over as a PDF or whatsoever. Yeah, the seventh thing, seventh thing, seventh thing that I want you to know is you can customize the control center. Yes, control center can be customized. It doesn't come out out of the box as how it looks like on my control center. You gotta go and head over to settings. You wanna go and head over to general or actually control center and you can customize it. As you can see, I have a more controls. You can change it. You can add toggles such as the dark mode. But I don't need that because this is my device. So I just took it off. And you just gotta know how this controls uh the calculator and flashlight, interchanged calculator and then flashlight, and put it back, calculator and then flashlight. So you just gotta know which one goes first for the layout to be proper and more optimized for your device. The eighth thing is Siri shortcuts. So I actually created a whole article about the Siri shortcuts. You can read it over in the description down below or hawkdive.com. But Siri shortcuts, basically, if I head over to my shortcuts tab right now, so this is some of the Siri shortcuts. Uh, if you have Siri enabled, which I usually do not, you can actually have access to this by saying, hey, Siri, water it checked, and it's going to toggle the water it checked without you having to manually do the water eject things. Here, let me show you. If I go here to settings, there you go. And then let's do press side button for Hey Siri. Let's enable Siri. Do Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Hey Siri, send a message. Hey Siri, how's the weather today? Hey Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Hey Siri, play some music. Okay, that is just how you enable Siri. But now what I can do is, hey Siri, water eject. Oh, sorry. 
Hey Siri, use shortcut water ejects. Not understanding it, but you get the idea. Hey Siri, hey Siri, use shortcut water ejects. Water ejects. Oh, and it's gonna start doing the thing. But I'm just gonna cancel it. I don't want the phone buzzing while creating this video. But you get the idea. You can use Siri shortcuts. I literally created a whole article just for that, just for you guys to know about it. And um, it will be on the description down below. Siri shortcuts, amazing stuff. This is on the shortcuts tab right here. And there's a lot of different toggles. Next thing would be hide photos. So of course I cannot really show you the hidden photos of my phone. That's why they're called hidden, right? But if I hop into my photos, right? Let's say this ramen right here looks good. I want to hide it from people. I can just press on the top right and click hide. Hide photo. Boom. Cool. Now we can just go back here and scroll back down. And on the hidden photos, you will see that photo. Of course, I'm not going to access the hidden photo in this video. I don't want you guys seeing my hidden files and photos. Um, but that is just how you hide photos. Now we're in the 10th one. Type faster with quick path. Not many people know about this, but there's actually this thing called the slide typing. That's how I type. So if I just open notes app right here, I'll say I'm going to type something here like, hey, drive to hawk dive. You can just swipe your fingers. Of course, it's not going to know um, as fast, you know, what you want to type, but you can always autocorrect. And it's way faster than doing this. Like, a subscribe to Hawk Dive. Of course, you, you can mistype way more because this one uses autocorrect. But, like, hey, can you follow me on my social medias? Look how that was too accurate. That was really accurate. You can actually follow me on at Alan Avila underscore. Just a little plug right there. But that is the 10th tip that not a lot of people know they don't swipe type that is quick path that's the name of the feature but you don't have to enable it it's enabled by default just go here you go to keyboard keyboard should be right here there should be no settings but you can do slide to type there you go that's quick path slide to type that is off. I would not be able to do that, as you can see. So let me go back here and let me re-enable it because that's why that's how I do. But that's cool. It also allows you to do the OMG just got home uh, abbreviations as long as you teach it what you type. So uh, that's cool. Move on to the eleven one. We can ask Siri to read your mails. If I do, hey Siri, read my mails. As you can see, it, it says I don't have the app need mobile mail because that is the main app that Siri is connected to to read your mails. Sadly, I have it uninstalled. It is not downloaded on my phone because I don't use the app. But if you want Siri to read your emails for you out loud, you can just do that. Hey Siri, read my emails. No, not that, not right now, but you get the idea. That's the 11th one. You don't have to manually check your emails. You can just ask Siri to literally say it out loud. That's cool. The next one would be measure objects with your iPhone. You can actually measure objects. Here, let me show you. Let me bring back this little um, paper document that we have. Uh, this usually works in a more bigger area. Um, you know what? We can use my curtain because why not? Here, let me show you. If I go and click uh, if I go in my iPhone right now and search for the measuring app right here, you can use this, press it, and then roam it around. As you can see, move iPhone to start. And there's this little circular with like a crosshair looking thing. What if I want to measure how long this stick is? So I'm going to stick it right there and drag it across the other side. It is around 1.5. M. And what if I want to see how 
before that goes down. Drag on that and then scroll all the way back down here. This is around 1.3. And of course, that is just the, you know, not as accurate of measurement, but you are 100% sure that that sticks. And that is the easiest way to measure things. It doesn't, it's not as accurate, of course, as using a measuring tape, but if you just want a quick measurement, especially on a wide space, you can just use that, that app and it sticks. It doesn't like, it's not one of those AR looking things that move when you move around your phone. No, that one actually sticks around until you're done with it, which is cool and amazing. You can use it for 3D stuff and it's always going to guarantee that it still remembers the values that you've done. Well, moving on to the 13th one, we can backspace quickly by holding the backspace key button on your keyboard. Everybody knows this, but actually not everybody knows this. See, if I just backspace, it backspace fast. No settings to change. Literally, you just got to hold it instead of tapping the X key. You can just hold it, especially if you have paragraphs and paragraphs of content text. You can just hold that down and it backspace is much quicker than normal. The next thing would be magnify with the camera. Now this one, um, it's just the same thing as what I've showed you earlier, which is the magnifier on text, but magnify with camera. It depends on the iPhone model. Actually, if you do have the iPhone 14 right now, you can use it to like zoom in way more than what I was able to do because Right here on my phone, I don't have a telephoto lens. I only have two lenses, which is the normal and the wide. But if you do have the iPhone 14, it has up to like 10x crazy magnifying on just the camera app. So imagine what it can do on the magnifier um, that, uh, that we've done earlier, which is right here. Magnifier. See, this one's already really close. Imagine what can the iPhone 14 do and the 13 and the pros can do right but um yeah 15 is identifying sounds with siri i wish i can show you wait actually i can show you this hey let me show you let me play something copyrighted i hope we don't get copyrighted with this you know what you're not gonna hear it i hope so but here i'm gonna play something on my monitor oh no not here, but on the monitor. Okay, hopefully the microphone doesn't hear it much. I'm playing. I don't want to live forever right now. Hey Siri. What song is playing? Listening to I Don't Want to Live Forever, 50 Shades Darker by Taylor Swift and Zane. It got it exactly right. That was that was really cool. That was really cool. But you know, you can identify songs with Siri, and um that's through Shazam. That's another like app extension, but you don't have to download anything. It's picked onto your iPhone, works every time. Just ask Siri and like cover it over the speaker or just hover it around as long as it can hear the sound playing. Last one, the last tip, if you have a big phone, especially the pro phones, pro max phones, they're really, you know, real, they're really big. This one, I can go over to whatever part of the screen because it is a good ratio to my hand size. But what if you can't? Well, you can just do one handed keyboard by going into settings. And we want to go into keyboard. Let me go to keyboard. Go back here. And then right here, it says right below the text replacement, one-handed keyboard. By pressing that, you can just do right. Let's say you're a right-handed person. Now, if I go down, let me go back to the notes app. As you can see, it is right on the right side of the phone. You can, of course, scroll back that. And then to have a shortcut, you can just hold the emoji button on the bottom left of your screen. You can do left or you can do right. For typing see that you can still use the swipe to touch that uh that i've showed you earlier which was cool but um yeah that is basically it again 
hopefully you did learn something about the 16 tips that you know what actually not a lot of people know about every single thing that i've showed in this video i'm pretty sure you did learn at least two things or more but if you did not comment down comment section below if you knew everything that is great you're a tech guy thumbs up but if you did learn something then you should comment it as well what did you learn what well, was something that you were looking for on your phone that you actually had it all this time and just figured out because of this video but again my name is alan avila from hawk dive check out our website check out everything that we do because we are awesome <laughs> but um yeah see you guys in my next video in this channel of course and goodbye thank you so much for watching